Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Okay, so in this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate how to print digital basic blocks and sewing patterns directly to fabric. This will allow me to reduce my sampling and fitting time dramatically. I mean like 300% dramatically, which is insane. So all you need is a large format printer like this HP T6, sorry, HP DesignJet T650 32 inch printer and a roll of Vileen interlining, which is this stuff here, okay? So I'm going to feed this fabric into that printer and print my digital patterns directly to this fabric. This removes the whole paper printing and fabric pinning part of the whole, sorry, stage of the sampling process entirely. So, you know, if like me, if you make a lot of samples on a daily basis to get that perfect fit, then this is a huge time saver. Like, I've been waiting to do this for months, okay? It's crazy. So first of all, uh, let's talk a little bit about the printer. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, the printer is, of course, expensive. It's a serious bit of kit. And it's not something you'd normally buy if you're, let's say, a home sewist, simply because you couldn't really justify the cost. It's about two to three thousand pounds, depending on if you get it in a sale or not. But if you are a bespoke dressmaker who deals with a lot of clients and needs a quick sampling and fitting process, like me, then this might be a perfect solution for you. This combination might be perfect. So next, let's take a look at the Violin interlining. Okay, I'm just going to open this up. But first of all, so I bought this from Somac Threads Limited, and it's called Violin Interlining Tearaway Backing. And it's a 90 centimeter wide roll, and it's 100 meters long. So think about how much I'm going to save on calico fabric costs. You know, like 70 pounds is not a huge amount for 100 meters. Plus, I've got no pre-sampling ironing, which I can't stand. So this stuff is normally used as a tearaway backing to reinforce fabric for machine embroidery. The great thing about this fabric is that it has a great or it has great structural properties. It's soft and malleable like fabric, but has the structure and tension similar to regular, you know, A4 paper. So it's the perfect medium to print and sew with, which is genius. Okay, so let's get started. I need to load that onto that, but unfortunately I can already kind of see a bit of a problem. As you can see, the diameter of my roll is absolutely huge and it's nowhere near going to fit on the actual spool. The printer's just not going to be able to take it. So luckily, the width is perfect at 90 centimeters. It's exactly the same as the uh, printer roll. So now I need to somehow remove the diameter of this. So either I roll, let's say, fabric onto another spindle or another spool, I take about 20 meters off and then apply it, or maybe I just remove 80 meters from this and use this existing spool. Anyway, either way, it might be a little bit time consuming, but it's all part of the testing process. So let's see what happens. Okay, so I've got a bit of a problem. So I need to find a spool of cardboard in order to transfer the fabric from the main roll to the cardboard roll. Then I can basically insert it into the machine. Uh, so I'm just going to pop down to the local shop and see if I can find some kind of tubing. Anyway, let's see what happens. Wow, that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. So I went to the local fabric shop and they had a spare roll that I can basically use to transfer the fabric from one roll to this one. So we should be good. Anyway, that was far too easy. Okay, so now I'm going to transfer this well, the majority of it anyway, to that roll there, which might take a little bit of time. And this might even defeat the whole point of doing this because the whole point is to save time. So we'll see what happens. And I need to get this pretty accurate as well. So let's just begin. Okay, so that's my finished roll of fabric. So I've basically unwound a whole 80 meters or about 80 meters and it's now gone <laughs> on our popsicle. I didn't wind it very well, but I was in a bit of a rush. So hopefully when I wind this back on to the finished roll, I'll do a little bit more accurately, but we have our finished roll. And I think it's gonna be just small enough to fit inside the actual printer so we can test it out. So my rod, well, which side is it? So it needs to go in that way. So we put it the other way, okay, fine. Okay, so here is my finished roll, all loaded onto the carriages for the printer. It's looking pretty good. And now I'm literally going to stick it in the printer and let's see if we can actually print onto violin fabric, which will be amazing. So let's just load it up. Now apparently I just feed this in. And then the, the printer should just recognise it once it's in far enough. 
Okay, so it's made a noise. It's all looking good so far. Um, plain paper, yep. Continue. Continue. Okay, there we go. Took a little bit of time. Exciting stuff. And it says, roll loaded successfully. Okay, so we should be good to print. All right, let's just close that. Let's just open this up. And now I'm going to jump over onto the Mac and I'm going to open up a pattern that I made a few days ago just so we can actually test this out. So let's have a look on the Mac. Okay, so this is my little, um, what is it? It is a jumpsuit pattern that I'm going to be drafting or at least sampling this week. So let's try this one. So I'm just going to get my big section tool, copy it. Let's create a new document. Now the roll is 90 centimeters wide of my violin fabric and I'll do it about 100 and, let's do it about 170 centimeters long. And let's just click create. I'm just going to paste my, um, what is it, jumpsuit pattern onto that, uh, let's say, artboard, which is going to be our finished fabric. And I can also just, let's go to edit artboards, let's decrease the length of that as well. And let's go file and then save as, and then desktop, and let's call it, okay, I can't type today, jumpsuit test print. Okay, I'm going to save it as a PDF file. Click save. Oh, we've already done it, but we'll replace it. That's fine. Just click save PDF. And then, um, so here it is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the HP Click software. Now, this comes with the actual large format printers. Um, it's really useful. It's a great little software piece. Let's just click, yeah, done. And so we can check out our source. I'm going to use automatic source selection. Quality is going to be just normal. Alignment in the middle. And then all I need to do is just simply click and drag my PDF onto that page and it'll automatically um, lengthen that page or lengthen the fabric. Or whether it cuts the fabric, it's going to be the end of my page. I'm just going to click print. This is very exciting. This has been a few weeks or a few months build up. So fingers crossed this should hopefully actually work. Um, not going to lie, I have done this a few times today and this should hopefully work now. Um, yeah. So if it does, that means I can print literally directly to fabric that allows me to speed up my sampling process. Yeah, granted it took a bit of time to transfer the fabric to the uh, cardboard roll, which then fit inside the printer. But if I can source rolls that are, let's say, 20 meters long, um, then I should literally just be able to drop it in, load it up, drop it in, load it up, which is fantastic. Um, but yeah, let's see. Okay, so it's printing. It's printing. It's actually printing. Um, yeah, it's looking good. And then, I don't think it smudges. No, it's not smudging at all, so it's actually going into the fabric. Okay, we're now printing to fabric, which is fantastic. Anyway, um, yes, yeah, so that's pretty much the end of the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and also turn on your notifications when it comes to our videos. We've got loads of great content coming up in the future, and we'd hate for you to miss any of it. Also, don't forget to leave us a comment if you've got any interesting ideas when it comes to tutorials. We're always here to help. Anyway, once again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again next time. Printing to fabric!